house with one another. For a church that does this, verse 12 tells us, God's ears are open to their prayers. And his eyes are on them. This righteous here being spoken of in verse 12 is the practice of doing these things. It's, it's, not, it's not a general term in relationship to righteousness in general, but those who are doing these things rightly. Do you want God's favor? Do you want God to hear your prayers? And I don't mean audibly, I mean answer them with a yes. If you want God to turn his eyes towards you and open his ears to your prayer, do these things in the body of Christ. Now it means a number of things. Number one, you have to be there. Number two, you have to interact with the body of Christ and the whole body of Christ, not just a select few. And number three, then you have to practice these things, knowing that what you do, others are going to do around you as well. So as we're giving out of love, being so consumed um, of others that we forget ourselves, there's somebody else that's looking after us the same way. As we're forgiving the failures and the shortcomings of others and eulogizing their good, someone else is doing that of you as well. That's how the body of Christ gets strengthened. That we begin to remove from ourselves, verse 8, that harshness and the attacks um, that oftentimes would be attributed that we would attribute back to maybe the, the days of legalism within the church of Jesus Christ. There's no place for that. Um, are we to confront each other in sin? Yes, in love we're to do that. But that's not what this is talking about. This is just talking about in our spiritual walk, having our relationships based on mercy and grace. That the more that we exercise those relationships, the more that God gives that back to us through the body of Christ so that he might turn his eyes towards us and open his ears to our prayers. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you.